The first command that you're going to need to learn is how to turn on and off your microphone. And basically you say, start listening, and then you can give commands. Start listening. Stop listening. As you see on my desktop here, I have several different files and some software that I'm going to use as examples for dictating commands. And we're going to start with that. Start listening. Double click Y. As you can see, it opened up my photos and I have this little wood block here that I have a photograph of. And so if I want to close this out, I say, start listening, close window. To open a file, you have to say, double click whatever the name of the file is. Open Excel 2016. Stop listening. As you can see, you can open up software by knowing the name of the software and, and just speaking the command. Start listening. Close window. Open Outlook 2016. Close Outlook. Open PowerPoint 2016. Click blank presentation. Click to add title. Delete previous four words. New title. Stop listening. I wasn't going to show you the dictation part of this, but it just kind of happened there. Start listening. Close PowerPoint. Click Don't Save. Stop listening. So you can basically say items off the menu and you can say um, buttons that are on dialog boxes and you can give commands. And it, one of the hardest things to remember is that when you have a file, you want to say double click the name of the file. So I have the uh, Camtasia guide there uh, as a PowerPoint. Start listening. Double click Camtasia guide. Click new slide. Two. Okay. Stop listening. Anytime you're on a toolbar, you can offer a command and then it will want you to select it using the number and then the OK. As example, wake up. Start listening. Click transitions. Stop listening. So the other thing that you're going to need to know outside of the commands on using Microsoft products and so forth is how to actually move your mouse around. And so the way you do that is you're going to say, start listening, mouse grid, one, two, eight, nine, click. 